Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we follow Ass Elmo once again as he once again gets barred from a police department, this time in Houston, Texas. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. They just, they just, they just drove off because... And what? you just happened to get out of the way. Yeah, this happened. I'm telling you right now, this has happened to me many a time before. They see me clear as day. You're not here. Just keep pushing. He's, he's recording this, by the way. So it's one of the emails. Um, how am I helping, sir? Keith, I'm trying to get information on the Third Amendment. Do you know what the Third Amendment is? Want to come inside, sir? No, I'm asking you. Are you trying to come inside, sir? I'm sure in a minute, but do you know what the Third Amendment is? Sir. Sure with the Third Amendment. How? Well, I'm trying to get information on the oath that you swore to protect. The oath that I swore to protect. But how may I help you? Did, Just briefly did, tell me. Did I, did I violate your, 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 your rights or what's going on, sir? No. No, you, well, you're probably about to, but. Why? What's our Fourth Amendment? Do you know what our Fourth Amendment is? I mean, I know we have like 10 amendments, right? How, how many amendments do we have? You don't know how many? How many do we have? We have 27 amendments, sir. Oh. You swore you swore to protect can those. You... A frauditor, can you tell me what Article 1, Section 10 of the Constitution says? No? Then buzz off. Can you say each one of them? I can, but right. you're, the first one? you're required to What's know this. One? I'm asking you. What's the first one? I'm asking you, sir. What's the first one? I'm, what, you tell me. I'm asking you. No, I'm asking you, sir. Okay. I guess you don't you're know. The, you're the. I do. I'm, you're What's the one. The first one? You're the one required What's to know it. What's the second it. one? You're the one required What's to know one? it, sir. What's the fourth one? You don't know any of them. What's the fifth one? You despicable little crown muncher. He's not going to play your game. In fact, he's playing with you right now. You don't know any of what's them. What's the fifth one? Sir, you're acting like a fool. Can I? I'm asking you, what's the fifth one? I'm asking you, sir. You're the one that's working you know, here. You the fifth? Yes. Okay. Sir. But ma'am, I'm, sir, I'm helping her right now. So why did you Can ask you me for help? help? Stand in line. Why did you ask me for help then? Stand in line. Why are you asking me for help then? Stand in line. You moved me to the front of the line when you when you asked me stand how could you line, help me? Please. All right, I'll stand in line. Thank but, you so much. but you, sir, you you're a special one. Thank you. I find that rather offensive that you call them special. I work with EBD and ESC students all day long, and a lot of those students are smarter than you think, and a lot smarter than you. So, ma'am, um, you feel comfortable? These guys are real quick to violate everyone's rights on the way no, in. Look, at, we got the no, rapey scan right here. Look, it says a rape, it says a right there, rapey scan. Rape. Right. This guy can rape you out of your rights real quick. No Fourth Amendment. This guy says, how many amendments do we have? He's, he swore to God to protect our constitutional rights. And he doesn't know it. And he's triggered about that. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. You, you can go ahead, ma'am. How you doing today? Yes, ma'am. What's that? Yes. You guys are real quick to violate people's rights, get people to waive their rights, actually. But real slow to go into school, save kids. You wanna be fast? Are you fast enough? Why don't you go apply at Uvalde, sir? We need fast cops like you. We gotta go through the through the rapey scan. All right, go ahead and so sir i'm not trying to give you a hard time <laughs> but you're you're required are you to, coming inside you're being you're disrespectful are you bro. coming inside treat me like a man bro are you coming inside treat me like a man bro are you coming inside yes but i'm talking i'm having a conversation put, with you put this up right here so we can get you inside okay but i'm having a conversation with you for a second sir sir we need to get you inside because we'll have a line What's here. Ma'am, you can go ahead. How you doing today? I'm getting ready. I'm not sure I'm not. I'm interviewing a woman. Okay. 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 Okay.
Well, you know thank, I'm thank God you don't have to take off your jacket. That'll be like your Fourth Amendment out the, bin, the window fully. You idiot. The Fourth Amendment is about unreasonable searches and seizures, not illegal searches and seizures, you moron. Taking our coat off would have been just a reasonable precaution in this situation. <laughs> Fully out the window. Well, it is already. You just went through the rapey scan. That's the name of it. How, how can they even call it that? Flores, por poco me pregunta, ¿qué es la Constitución? <laughs> Flores almost asked me, what is the Constitution? Flores, ¿eres mexicano? Yo soy puertorriqueño. Los dos estamos aquí en este país por una razón, por nuestras libertades. Y tú viniste aquí a quitársela a la gente, hermano. How, how ironic, how crazy is that, sir? You came from Mexico to the United States for freedom, and you're over here taking people's freedoms. Oh my God. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. God have mercy on your soul. What the hell is that? <laughs> Flores, how you doing, sir? He's a good guy. That's a good guy right there. Very nice gentleman. I asked him about the Third Amendment, and guess what? He tried looking for it. He didn't act, he didn't act like a fool like you. So, shout outs to him. He did a good job last time I was here. By the way, our last video here has a lot of views. Thousands of people saw it. Yeah, so, have you ever heard of the ad populum fallacy? We're all human, we're all human and, and we all make mistakes. But if you're a police officer and you're swearing to do the right thing, hey, freaking do it. Freaking do it. Guys, this is a Houston police department. Look at the type of security they got here. Just to enter the people's building. <laughs> And then you come over here to the place where you ask questions about the Constitution. And he's like, well, you know it. You know it. You tell me right now what's the First Amendment. You tell me. Like, imagine you going to Walmart trying to make, make a purchase and having the cashier be like, no, nah, you're trying to purchase Sunny Delight? Hell nah. Hell nah. Purchase the other brand. No. Or imagine going to Burger King and having and having the cashier say, I ain't serving you. I'm not serving you. Just imagine. Guys, go to Auditing America on Instagram. Subscribe. Show support. Shout outs to Mr. Manco. This is the Houston Police Department epic fail where this guy doesn't know our rights. And it's kind of rude to the public. So... Stay tuned for the next how one. How do we help you here? Huh? How, like, how do we help you? 
Well, I'm gonna conduct business. I'm gonna do public records request, and I'm and I need to speak to a supervisor. Okay. Okay. Um, we'll bring you the forms, okay, sir? I'd like to come inside. I said, everybody, why did you just search me then? Huh? Why did you just search me then? We're gonna uh, bring in the forms. Is that fine? No, I want, I'd like to come inside. That's a public place. Just, just have a seat for a little quick. No, I won't. I want to go inside. You guys can't deny me entry. Just, just have a seat. I'm, I'm not. Am I being detained? Not All right, so uh, we're saying that you're detained, but I would like for you to have a seat if you want. Well, I don't want to have a seat. Okay, you just okay. you just searched okay. me, and now you don't want me in there. That's funny. Just just uh, huh? what we need to do. So I'd like to I'd like to come inside, sir. I have the I have the. Hey, how can we help you? Okay, I like I'm to. Not, I'm not getting ready to go through all this with you, buddy. Do what? How how how, how can we help you? I'd like Police to conduct. Related. I like are public record. Are you coming to follow? I want to file okay. a complaint we, on we, you we will, we first will, of all, on we, him, we, on everybody. But fine, lower, lower we'll, your voice. We'll, we'll contact IED. Buddy. We'll contact just sit right no, there. We'll no, no, I want to come inside. We'll, you can't deny me entry. You can't we'll deny me entry. Oh, okay, good. I love it. I love it. That's fine. Because guys, I need you to call uh, the Houston Police Department, right, and voice your concerns on Flores. I want you to voice your concerns on Flores. They were very triggered about my last visit here, huh? Maybe I showed too many people, is that what happened? Flores, this is not what you guys got hired to do. You guys can feel like you winning right now by leaving me outside, but I am the best example of getting the last laugh. I always get the last laugh. And your tyranny is gonna be exposed. I am so sick of hearing that word tyranny coming out of these gutter holes they call mouths. Uh, the people on this screen you see right now, they are the tyrants. And right now, you are looking at what the results of their tyranny caused. So take that and put it in your pipe and smoke it, you moron. That guy's a tyrant. That guy's a tyrant for sure. He's supposed to be nice to the public. You know what I'm saying? He's not supposed to come here. What? We're not going to play this. Play what? Me asking about what you guys swore to uphold? Tyrants. Tyrant cops in Houston. Tyrant cops. Denied entry at a public place. You know, I could sue you guys for this, although I don't want to. I don't want to because I don't need the city's money. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna donate every single dollar that I get from this lawsuit. I'm gonna donate it to the Houston people. <laughs> you serious? Okay, I'm gonna sue the shit out of you guys. Just you guys. You can't deny me entry. You can't deny me entry. What's your name, brother? Cause you're part of this? I'm Officer Banks. Banks, mm -hmm. all right, thank you, Banks. Banks, Flores, and what's his name? So I could go ahead and, and leave with oh, the Sergeant information Sam I need? Sergeant Samuels. Sanders? Samuels. Samuels. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Come on, man. Thank you very much. These guys want to search my bags and stuff and then not let me in. You think you're slick, right? You guys think you're slick. And then what do you do with these? You wipe your butts with these. Because you have, you, have, you have coffee and donuts with the internal affair people that work right here in the same building with you. You guys are all scumbags. I'm leaving. Is this the way out? Scumbags. You didn't get, you didn't get hired for this shit. You did not get hired for this. Hit. Keep your piece of shit pen. And don't let the door hit you on the way out, you frauding moron.